So I'm pretty excited for Dogecoin since there are a lot of bullish things happening for it. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why and when Dogecoin is going to move to the upside. So we are now seeing more and more confirmation that things are nicely shaping up for Dogecoin. And it is now highly likely that a break in Dogecoin's current pattern could come as soon as the upcoming weekend. This is because Doge has developed into three possible bullish chart patterns. So we can see here that Doge is currently trading in three possible bullish patterns on the daily chart, with the first being a cup and handle, the second a bull flag pattern, and lastly a triple inside bar pattern. And because all three bullish chart patterns align, it is highly likely that the move higher could be explosive if the patterns are recognized soon. And if this happens, the measured move is about 38%, which indicates that Dogecoin could reach the 20 cent price level on a break from the pattern by this weekend. And another bullish thing for Doge is that its MACD and signal lines are poised to break above the midline in the coming trading sessions. And we are now seeing a steady growth in its price chart with its green bars highlighting the rising underlying bullishness. So we can see here that if Dogecoin manages to go past the 16 cents resistance mark, it would surge to the overhead resistance of 20 cents. And this move is going to be important for it as it will confirm a bullish recovery for Dogecoin. And as I explained before, it is highly likely that Doge is going to make this bullish move in the coming weekend. And now, there is another massive update for Dogecoin that I think every holder needs to know about. But I'll come to it later. Let's first come to Bitcoin's price movements. So we can see here that it is also looking to print some gains in the coming days. And since it is the leading crypto, a bullish move by Bitcoin is going to help Doge in moving up as well. And Bitcoin is now aiming to go past the next resistance level around 45k to 47k and I think it is very possible that Bitcoin can manage to go past this resistance level in the coming trading sessions. This is because we are now seeing some massive bullish indicators and updates for Bitcoin. For example, as per data from Santiment, it is expected that Bitcoin is going to trade on a positive note this weekend. This is because we are now seeing that Bitcoin is now closely correlated with the traditional stock market, including the Nasdaq Composite Index and the S&P 500. And since the traditional markets are expected to move to the upside in the coming days, it is highly likely that Bitcoin will now initiate another upward rally from here. Moreover, seeing that Bitcoin is now closely correlated with the traditional stock market, FS Insight has predicted that this correlation can help Bitcoin to hit a new all-time high at 200k in the second half of this year. And it is also expected that more and more investors are now going to invest in Bitcoin. And if this happens, I also think that Bitcoin can hit a new all-time high this year. Moreover, we are now seeing that more and more crypto analysts are also getting bullish on Bitcoin. For example, Analyst Kevin Spenson believes that just as we experienced continuous dumping for Bitcoin over the last few months, we may now see the exact opposite. So the point is that just as Bitcoin was on the downside for several weeks, it is now quite likely that Bitcoin will continue on the upswing over the next few weeks, if not months. And given that Bitcoin is already trending positively, I believe it is possible that we are going to see more positive movement from it. Similarly, TechDab is also eyeing for Bitcoin to initiate a big move to the upside. And he believes that because Bitcoin has been consolidating for nearly a year, this running flat trend line is now more likely to transform into a running triangle. And this is precisely why he believes that Bitcoin's next impulse is going to be a big one. And as we can see on this chart, Bitcoin now appears to be creating a running triangle, and it is now highly likely that it will rise to the 0.618 Fibonacci level. And according to this chart, if Bitcoin achieves this, its price may reach as high as 200k, so this is a very optimistic scenario, and I believe we should not count it out for Bitcoin. And another thing is that the trader sentiment for Bitcoin has improved a lot in the past few days. And this means that more and more traders are now getting bullish on Bitcoin. As a result, we are currently seeing an increase in trade volume across major Bitcoin exchanges since the start of this week. And this means that an increasing number of people are increasingly investing in Bitcoin. So this is very positive for Bitcoin. But this is not it. And we are now seeing that the adoption of Bitcoin is also increasing. So just recently, KPMG, a major firm in Canada, has added Bitcoin and Ethereum to its corporate treasury.
and the firm has stated that this investment reflects their belief that institutional adoption of cryptos will continue to grow and become a regular part of the asset mix. So this means that in addition to investors, major firms are also getting bullish on Bitcoin, and this is why they are now investing in it. All in all, it is now pretty much clear that Bitcoin is going to continue its positive momentum in the coming days as well. And as I said before, this bullish scenario for Bitcoin is going to help Dogecoin as well. This is because Doge has the highest correlation with Bitcoin compared to other cryptos. And I know this correlation hasn't worked well for Bitcoin in the recent past. But things are looking more positive now. And I think Doge will also go up if Bitcoin manages to continue its positive momentum in the coming days. In any case, I'd like to remind you here that this is no financial advice since I'm not a professional financial advisor. I'm just expressing my opinion here so it is recommended that you do your own research before investing in cryptos. And now, as promised, let's come to another very positive update for Dogecoin. So we are now seeing that adoption of Dogecoin is increasing at a rapid pace. And just recently, a coffee shop named Doge Beans Coffee has started to accept payments in Dogecoin. In fact, it appears that the owner of this shop is a hardcore supporter of Doge since he has recently turned his coffee shop into a Dogecoin-themed shop. So Andrew Lutz, co-owner of Doge Beans Coffee, has recently stated that he got personally into crypto and Dogecoin in particular. And he had a lot of Dogecoin and he wanted to be able to spend it on something he liked. And since he likes coffee, he decided to accept Doge payments so that people can enjoy a cup of coffee by paying with Dogecoin. So this is a very interesting yet important development for Dogecoin. All in all, we are now seeing that more and more firms are now accepting Dogecoin payments. And I think the reason why more and more firms are accepting Doge is that it has the lowest transaction fees and the most convenient transaction process compared to all other cryptos in the market. So this makes it a lot more convenient and smoother for users to make payments by using Dogecoin as they don't have to pay hefty transaction fees. Likewise, it is equally beneficial for merchants to accept Dogecoin payments. And this is why we are now seeing that more than 2k retail merchants are already accepting Dogecoin payments and reaping benefits of it. And this just shows us how more and more firms are preferring Dogecoin payments. So the point is that there are many benefits for both buyers and sellers if they use Dogecoin for payments. And I think that this is why more and more firms are going to accept Doge payments in the future. And I think Dogecoin's mass adoption is going to be one of the biggest catalysts that will drive its price to new highs in the long term. And now, let's come to some other massive updates for Dogecoin and other cryptos. So Drive Wealth has recently entered the crypto industry in order to offer crypto trading to retail investors. Moreover, Drive Wealth has launched Drive Digital as a subsidiary crypto exchange, and it plans on providing API access to its partners to allow retail investors to make trades on Bitcoin and Ethereum. So this is positive news since it will open up doors for more traders to start investing in cryptos like Bitcoin and ETH, and this will eventually increase crypto adoption. And, while we're on the subject of crypto adoption, Wells Fargo Investment Institute just released a report outlining the potential for cryptos to serve as an investment opportunity comparable to the early days of the internet. The report notes that the technology underlying cryptos is following a similar adoption path to that of the internet in the early to mid-1990s. However, similar to the internet, the growing number of crypto users indicates that the world is rapidly adopting cryptos. So seeing this report, I think that there is no doubt that global crypto adoption is rising and could soon hit a hyperinflection point. And once this happens, then we will be seeing the prices of cryptos like Dogecoin, Bitcoin, and others reach new highs. So we have just seen some very positive updates and development for the overall crypto market. And this is exactly why I think that the market is going to move to the upside in the coming weeks. But I'm more bullish on Dogecoin because we have just seen that things are now nicely shaping up for it. And there are a lot of positive things happening for it. And this is why I think that Doge is going to move to the upside by this weekend.